Hey everyone and welcome back. For this client makeup tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a beautiful bronze glam makeup look. So keep watching to learn how to get the look. The first product I'll be using is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. Now for this look, I am using two different shades. I'm using soft brown for the front of the brow and medium brow for the tail. Uh, this is because it gives it a more natural looking brow and not all being the one color. So it goes from light to dark. Using concealer, I am now carving out the brow to give it a nice, beautiful shape. I'm also applying the concealer all over the eyelid, as this will be the base for the eyeshadow. For the first eyeshadow, I am using MAC Cosmetics Single Eyeshadow in Soft Brown and I'm applying this directly in the crease. I'm also applying another MAC Cosmetics Single Eyeshadow in Saddle and I'm applying this in the outer corner of the eye and also halfway through the crease. This shade is to deepen up the first shade that we already applied. Using Kylie Cosmetics The Bronze Palette, I'm using the dark brown shade and applying this to the outer corner of her eyes. I'm also applying this shade in a V shape in the outer corner. This is to give it a cat eye effect. For the lid, I'm using this beautiful gold shimmer from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Amber. Using a makeup wipe, I'm now cleaning up the eyeshadow fallout from underneath the eye and also giving the eye a nice cat eye effect. Going in with Inglot's Black Gel Liner in number 77, I'm now creating a flawless ring liner. To prime the skin, I'm using Fasali's Skin Enhancing Serum and I'm applying this all over the face with a foundation brush. For her base, I am using my favourite foundation at the moment, which is the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation, and I'm using the shade Barcelona. I absolutely love the formula of this. It's a full coverage matte finish, but it's not drying at all on the skin. It just leaves a beautiful, flawless base. Using another NARS product, I'm going in with their Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard and I'm going to be applying this just underneath the eyes. To contour her face, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Mocha. Now I love this formula also because when you apply it, it doesn't stick to the foundation and dry. You can really go in and blend this out beautifully. Going in with a buffing brush, I am now blending out the cream contour into her foundation. This is to make sure that there is no harsh lines and everything is blended in seamlessly. I'm 
now setting her full face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. To bronze her skin, I am using the Hula Bronzer from Benefits Cosmetics. I love to apply bronzer all over the forehead and the high points of the cheeks to contour. I'm now baking her jawline to give her a little bit more of a defined and chiseled look. Using a clean fluffy brush, I am now blending this out. For blush, I am using the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach. This is a beautiful peach tone which really goes well with a bronzed glam look. For highlight, I am using the Becca Cosmetics Highlight in Champagne Pop. I'm applying this to the high points of the cheeks, the bridge of the nose and also the inner corner of the eyes. To smoke out her lower lash line, I'm going back in again with the Kylie Cosmetics The Bronze Palette. To line her lips, I'm using a lip liner from a brand called It's All About Makeup. The shade is Lady Go Diva, and I love using this shade with a nude lip. To finish the look off, I'm using MAC Cosmetics Nude Lipstick in colour Cherish. Using Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to set the look. I hope you all enjoyed this amazing client makeup tutorial and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.